Oh, this isn't the entire CH support you should see, but yeah. Alright. Let me beat that. Hello. What are y'all doing out here? Avonomy sent you. Well, it's about time. One of my men has been derelict in his duties. He's been allowing vessels to pass through the Ruby Sea free of charge. We suspect he is either a coward that is afraid of crossing swords with another, or he is taking bribes. We shall find out soon enough. It would oppose us a foreign merchant and approach the watch guard I speak of, uh, who is stationed in the Shoal Rock area to the southeast of here, and then threaten him. We are under no circumstances to harm him, however. Simply take take a battle stance. I suspect that should be enough to elicit a reaction from him. Do I just draw my weapon at him? Or is it slash battle stance? Okay. We need you to go to Shoal Rock area, the south e southeast of here. Approach our watch guard, then take a battle stance and observe his reaction. Yeah, swimming makes you fit and healthy. Exactly. Listen, all this exercise attacking things, you know what? Sometimes you just need a good, good cold swim in the morning. Actually, they said the water was kind of, kind of fine. It was maybe warm water. Just need a good swim. You know. Good exercise. All right, that's a soul's remembrance one. Uh, they said it was out by Shore Rock. Fight or flight. Requires assistance. Take a battle stance against the watch guard. This one I think sends back to Kugane. Okay. Right. Okay, it's right here. Alrighty, alrighty. Back in the water. That was not a far enough drop for that water to hurt me, but sure, alright. Water water's tough, alright? Water, water in, in Eorzea or Heidelin or whatever the, the, the world is, uh, it'll th kick your ass. Hey, can I just sneak through here? Okay, whatever. Let me just go the long way around. Yeah, it's this one. Then we hand in this quest, letting you know we've identified who the mur murder murderers are. Some people posing as fishermen, and then lots of quests to hand in. And then uh, we go over to Kugane for the Ether Current quest. Did to go talk to our uh, East Island Learn Trading Company pals. Pals, I say in quotation marks. <laughs> Acquaintances, reluctant allies. <laughs> Watch guard. All right, hello. It is I, just a merchant. Um, I am passing through here with my mercantile goods, and uh, fuck you and your ruby tithe. All clear over here. Huh? I, as you can see, I'm rather busy at the moment. If there's something you need, come ask me later. Oh, I did slash battle stance. Slash battle stance. But dude, what if I slash battle stance at you? See this book? Book will kick your ass. I'm ready to kick your ass with this book. You, you, you want a, a fight? The, 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 then it's a fight you'll get. Ah. <laughs> Guys, a merchant wants to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> I need help. Runs away. See, some of these pirates, man, lily livered. Uh. Oh, we gotta report back to this dude. Oh, okay, all the way back. Okay, yeah, dude, so I, like, I, I approached him, and then uh, he just ran away. 
Uh, so I, I would lean more towards Goward and less towards Brabs. <laughs> he who talks smack and runs away lives to talk smack another day. <laughs> Eh, all right, fair enough. Trying to spook away with the bluff. Like a little bird that tries to be poof up and look as big as possible. All right, dude, yeah, your merchant's a coward. Or oh, sorry, your, your, your recruit, your dude, he's a coward. So tell me, what did our watch guard do when you pretended to attack him? Ran. Oh, talk smack and then ran. He scuttled off, shouting for reinforcements. Excellent. What do you, what do you mean, excellent? Ah, uh, you must be confused. There is something I must confess. The real reason I asked you to confront him was not because he was being lax in his duties, uh, but rather to test him. Oh, so he passed because, you know, like, don't take out a dude on your own. The confederacy is stronger together. Whenever there's a threat of an attack upon the coral banquet, our men stationed there are to train to drop everything and dash to the headquarters to call for reinforcements. We need to ensure he would follow protocol. But you didn't want to tell me? Had I told you the truth in the beginning, you would have held back and not come across nearly as menacing as you did. You doubt how menacing I can come across as, but sure, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for your help. When you return to Aranami, please inform him that the recruit passed the test. Okay. I must apologize for lying to you, but I hope you realize it was more out of necessity than anything else. You performed most remarkably, and for that you have our thanks. No worries. If you ever need somebody to look menacing, I got you. I can look very menacing. Have you seen my little- my angry face eyes? Alright, alright, back into the water. Or a swim. Looking at- I do like how you can sprint in water though, I like that. Like my little summoner narwhal horn over here. Is that a fish? No, it's a narwhal. No, it's a makote. <laughs> Love how you can take damage when you jump into water too. Yeah, certainly is realistic. I think sometimes you take damage from the drops, and I'm just like, nah. If I was jumping into water, like, and the water's deep enough, I wouldn't. They, you wouldn't really take damage from this. Like a jump from here, I don't think would wouldn't cause damage. Although maybe this is a bit high, but the water's deep, so. Yeah, it certainly is realistic. It certainly is realistic. Alright. You got your poison people, dude. You finished. Great. I'll take it from here. Well, I'm tending to my men. Might you return to Yana and let her know that everything is now under control? Will do, will do. Alrighty, quest handing in time. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's go talk to this person over here. Alright, Aranami, hello. The dude passed. <laughs> Welcome back. Training was a success, I take it. Earlier, one of our new watch guard came sprinting to us, shouting about an attack until he was blue in the face. <laughs> I hope one day you can teach me how to be so intimidating. <laughs> it's all about the angry eyebrows. And, you know, a little bit of, you know, actual, like, uh, combat experience to back that up. Look intimidating. Open your book. Threaten him with some sort of spell. You'd be like, huh, this would incinerate your entire limbs or something like that. Big bluff. <laughs> Alright, here I say.
You've brought me back my meat. Fantastic. Simply fantastic. With this, my stew is now complete. Hearty Gyuki meat. Fresh meat obtained from Gyuki that is rich in protein. You smell that, my good lady. Now that is the smell of a proper meal. Once we slide the hot, hot stones into the pot and the seawater begins to boil, the seafood and meat, the already heavenly aroma will become all the sweeter. We have the ruby steed to thank for such a luxurious bounty. By her, we are blessed and, in, blessed, and in partaking of her food, we shall be protected. Unless you are foolish enough to swallow one of the hot stones, that is. <laughs> thank you for your help, my friend. I hope this shall suffice as payment for your services. Experience and coin. Thank you, thank you. All right. All right, dude, I have your uh, <laughs> sea serpents, giant sea serpents still alive in these bags that I'm totally hauling around with me. Have you brought me my sea serpents? Up yep, here you go. A large snake that is alive but sedated thanks to the large sack. <laughs> okay. Which has been pulled over its head and most of its body. So like a bird, like you would a bird. A lot of the times to keep a bird calm, you put like a, like a, 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 like, just like, obviously still breathable and stuff like that, but if you just cover its eyes and stuff like that, it'll keep it calmer. That works for some animals. Birds in particular, I don't, I'm not sure about other animals as well. Alright, hand over. I guess it works for giant sea monsters too. <laughs> Color me impressed. You actually managed to capture three. Well, that is the number I asked for. They are extremely vicious creatures, and I expected you would only be able to return with one. I am also glad to see you took care not to kill them. Sea serpent steak is incredibly tasty, but only if prepared fresh. Oh, I thought you were gonna like train them or something. Before I, I get to grilling these buggers, however, I must melt them for their venom. We use it to spike the drinks of the Confederate traitors. Damn. Okay. Okay, sure. Nine out of ten times they will die, but the lucky survivors, like me, are given the chance to redeem themselves. I, I almost portrayed the, conf the confederacy, but uh, oh, then then uh, then they like poisoned me. They're just like you're 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 in the confederacy. There's no way out in this situation. Okay. Or were you, like, ta taking bribes or, like, I don't know, what, what did you do to betray the Confederacy? You survived being poisoned, dude? Oh, good on you, I guess. Well, if they can survive the poison, we'll give them a second chance. Dude, the Confederacy is brutal. For, for as brutal as the Confederacy is, like, we've seen the Confederacy be brutal, or at least threatened to be brutal. Um, some of the Greenhorns here are just, like, not brutal at all. <laughs> Okay. All right, dude. All right, Yana. What a relief it is to hear that everyone's fine. That such a mess could, ar mess could arise in the first place, however, still puzzles me. I would have thought it common sense to avoid approaching a Shiranui. He's talking about the people that have been poisoned. It's said that these beasts are the souls of men and women who died at sea. Um, in never having been buried, they are unable to find closure and remain upon this earth, poisoning the souls of the living with their noxious breath. Perhaps the people of Koshu never learned the tale, and that is why our new batch of underlings did not uh, have the sense to run when they saw the creature. Mm. I think Koshu is that mainland, like, Kugane? I, I don't remember all the names of the places yet. <laughs> we'll get there. Geography. I remember that there was a boat from Koshu. At Kugane. Eh, somewhere out that where. If you can help it, you best stay away from them too. Keep safe, my friend. Uh, 
I should have checked to see whether we had... Hold on a second. <laughs> Let me check my white mage real quick to see what, what I have on... Um, what my bracers are on them. Okay, 270. No, wait, that's the rain. No, still 270. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think I might still have 270 on summoner as well from the tombstone vendor. Yeah, okay. So we don't we don't need that here with this one either. Okay. So I guess we'll take eh, the materia. Alrighty, then these last two over here, and then just the, the one uh, Aetherite current quest to go back to Kugane. And after that, we continue along with the main storyline. Alright, Tayase. Ah, you have returned. Thank you for surveying the island and saving one of our comrades from certain death. We did a bit of investigation and discovered that the alleged fishermen's victims have one thing in common. The two of them once stopped a ship full of Ronin, seeking pa Ronin being like, um... Uh, if I remember correctly, like, Ronin are like, um, samurai that aren't sworn to, like, somebody. It's a roaming samurai. Ship full of Ronin seeking passage through the Ruby Sea. Upon demanding that they pay the Ruby Tithe, the nomad samurai drew their swords and all hells broke loose. A great deal of blood was shed that day. So what, it was some, some of their Ronin companions looking for revenge? By the sound of it, these men had come, this, these men had come to avenge the deaths of their compatriots. Doesn't surprise me. Most Ronin are no better than your average criminal. Sadly, this incident cost us a good man. Thanks to you, however, we were able to prevent any more casualties. Please, accept this gift as a token of our appreciation. Uh, dude, if there's more of them, they might come back even harder to retaliate, but okay. Watch out. Alright, and then to let this dude know that the blue-haired girl was okie-dokie. Good eye, sir. Good eye. I was watching the two of you from afar with my telescope. Kami be praised. It seems this, the girl was still alive. Did she tell you what happened to her? Oh yeah, attacked by jellyfish. Indeed, the waters carry a myriad of strange things our way, including people. Though most of them are already d dead by, by the time they reach us. That is why I'm up here and uh, not down there doing patrols. Had you not come when you did, I may have been forced to go down and deal with her myself. By the time I worked up the courage to do so, she might have been long gone. Please take this pouch of Koban. Uh, you have saved not one, but two people today. I guess we saved him from dying against jellyfish, maybe. Okay. All right. Right, yeah, this is for eh, the main quest line. And then, yeah, we're going to uh, going back to Gugani here real quick. So let's hearth. I said Gugani as my home point. I really do love Kugani. It's a really, it's a, they, they really uh, hit it out of the park. It's a good city. It's a good city. They went ham on this one. Uh, okay, yeah, we got to go back to the, the East Alarnar, uh training company. Let me take a sip of water here while, uh, while we're uh, booking it over that way. Eh, I could have taken the Etherite, the Ethernet. Oh, well, I'm already, I'm already running.
Alrighty, here we are, here we are. It says, show an East Alvin Archery and Company. Do I have to go inside? Oh no, he over here. Okay, never mind. East Alvin Archery and Company merchant. Hello, fellows. Have you happened to um, recognize these in any capacity? She's like, is there an old dog specific voice? Nah, I don't know. Mr. Slide, what a pleasure it is to see you. How might I be of service to you today? We got an inventory list, a sheet of paper listing each and every single item that can be found aboard the mercantile ship that the friends recently confiscated, and a crimson flag taken from the mainmast of the mercantile ship confiscated by the Confederacy. Yo, you recognize either of these things? You'd like to know if this flag or any of the items listed here came from one of our ships. I'm afraid I cannot help you there. Kimo, however, uh, might be able to tell you. She's in charge of inventory and is currently stocking our ships at Pier Number One. All right, all right. Out the Pier Number One, then out the Pier Number One. Uh, pier Number One. Hello, Kikimo. Some questions regarding, uh, ships. And who might you be? Ah, uh, Mistress Light. I've heard a great deal about you. Very well, I shall take a look at your flag and list. Here you are, here you are. Uh, none of th these items are even remotely familiar. It is as you suspected you have been lied to. Tis a shame you were the one, uh, you were the one to ask. Had it been anyone else, it would have been an easy thing to claim the ship and its good as a, good as our own. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Alvin Mar Trading Company. Ah, oh, we could have claimed it as our own, but unfortunately, we wanted to be in good relations with you. Um, but we would have been totally like, yep, that's totally ours. Wink. And then we would have just taken it. But uh, oh well. That's all right, Laz. We can. We are helping ensure a new trading partner for you, so it's better if you, you know, be honest with this stuff. Hydrate. Th check. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, who's this in our way? Excuse you, sir. I am uh, talking to people. Thank you for the hydrate check redemption. Thank you. Thank you. Take another sip of water. Another sip of water it is a lot of reading in this in this game sometimes. So yeah, important to stay hydrated. If anybody else uh, hasn't had water in a bit, you know, now might be, good, be, be a good time. You know, get yourself a glass of water. Stay hydrated. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Let's take a sip of water here real quick. Alrighty, alrighty. Thank you for the hydrate check. Thank you, thank you. Many of the items listed here are worth their weight in gold and then some. With this, those men could have easily paid the tithe several times over. They didn't pay the tithe. Why? Because they were greedy bastards? Or... Maybe they don't, just don't want to get in bad with the Garland Empire? Such luxurious items can be rather hard to come by. So do, not, so do let me know if your friends are looking to sell any of this. We'd be more than happy to find a buyer for them. Oh, they are looking to sell it. They are looking to sell it. They'll be happy, though. To think that you even have contacts within the ranks of the Confederacy. You are, just as they say, a woman of many parts. What is that supposed to mean? A woman of many parts. Uh, I guess I, many parts is in, like, many places. I go traveling lots of places. I meet a lot of people. Just as they say. Hold on. Let me screenshot this. For the memory banks. I've been just taking some screenshots along the way. Because when I first went through a Realm Reborn uh, storyline, um, I only took, like, scenery screenshots. Not a lot of, like, uh, uh, quest dialogue stuff. And I, I kind of, I was kind of like, you know what? I'm going to take some more quest dialogue screenshots to look back on along the way. Because when I came back, uh, uh... 
just before Endwalker launch, um, I I had no memory of a lot of the Realm Reborn questing. I remembered I remembered some of it, but like n not not a lot. <laughs> All right, let's let us then. Okay, yeah, we teleport. We teleport back. Makoto. Yep, here we go. Let them know that they're indeed not of the East Eleanor Trading Company and that the East Eleanor Trading Company would be willing to trade with them. Alright, dudes, we're back. They were further, further out than I thought they were. All right, hello again, Suzume. You have made it safely back. I hope your trip to Kuga Kugane proved fruitful. It was indeed. It was indeed. Mistress Kelwin, you are returned. Very good. Now, if you would be so kind as to give the flag and its list back to me. Yep, here you go. Here you go. You may take this back. Hmm. It was as we suspected then. In light of Mistress Kikimo's proposal, however, not even their evident guilt can sour my mood. Oh, we'll have to, we'll have to cut those rat bastards that we have in the dungeons right now. But you know, with this news, I might be a little bit easy, go a little bit easier on them. Indeed, this is fantastic news, sir. It's everything we had hoped for and more. Well, certainly promising, we are not yet out of the woods. Mr. Skelwin, I trust we can rely on your continued support. I have a feeling we will be needing it. Yeah, I can be a little liaison, but I'll let you know, like, the Elvenar Trading Company and us, we're, like, kind of, like, uh, not on the best terms, but, you know, like, we, we're, we're, uh, reluctantly affiliated. <laughs> Alright, we shall take, uh, these earrings. We got the the pre-order moon earring now that lasts us like forever and stuff like that. Uh, these are still cool for maybe like a uh, glamour in the future. Oh, the quest line continues. The quest line continues. All right, we got our Ethan current though. I'll probably just take the mirrors here on this one. These are cool, but I don't know. I feel like for for white mage, i have probably glamour into different earrings, but he... Suhi Kage is ready to talk trade. Ah, Kelwin, how lucky I might have caught you. I'd like to open negotiations with Mistress Kakimo, but members of the Confederacy are not exactly welcome in Kugane. You, however, are not subject to the same constraints as us, and I'd ask that you deliver a letter to her on my behalf. If you would kindly accompany me to our guard room uh, just atop these stairs, I can give it to you right now. In the meantime, I shall go take care of our honest merchant friends. Kellen, I hope you'll work your usual magic and bring us back some more good news. My my usual magic. Already well enough acquainted with these people would be like, oh yes, your usual magic. I know, I feel like she's got a talent, really. Talking to people. Getting things done. All right, this the the storm room, whatever. Enclosed in this envelope is a paper that outlines all of our conditions and preferences. If there is anything Mr. Skikima would like to amend or add, assure her that the Confederacy is open to negotiations. All right. I'll make sure this letter gets to the recipient. I must ensure that these negotiations are successful. If they were to fall through, we may find ourselves marching towards financial disaster. Now the Confederacy is a bit of a pickle situation right here. Uh... Uh, two minutes on return. 
don't know how much is the teleport fee. Eh, okay, we'll just teleport. Back to Kugane. I want to make sure we, we get through with this one. game is always great. All right. Uh, back up to Pier 1. Meet the net. Pier 1. All right, Kakimo, we have a trade proposal for you from the Confederacy. Mistress Light, you are returned. What brings you back so soon? A missive outlining the Confederacy's preferred terms of trade penned by Sugikage and addressed to Kikimo. Ah, yes. Let me have a look. Ah, ah, ah. This is a, a deal I can hardly say no to. Tell Mr. Master Sugikage uh, we will fully agree to the conditions outlined in this letter. Sorry, sorry going on to a different place there for a second. We're not even going to negotiate. Assuming he is willing, I would also uh, like to ask him to obtain certain items for us besides those listed here. We would, of course, compensate him accordingly. There are a plethora of luxury goods that can be only be obtained in the Ruby Sea. Since the Imperials have begun placing their embargoes, a lot of these things have become difficult to acquire. Here, I prepared a contract for Master's... Dude, you had a car... As soon as you left, I just decided to start writing up a contract, because I... I knew Kelvin. You would work your usual magic. I, I, I knew you'd probably be back with a trade proposal. It was bound to happen eventually. I prepared a contract for Master Tsukikage to re review and sign. Please, see that it makes it to him. As always, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Thanks, Kikimo. People say there's no such thing as a bargain. They are wrong. So long as you keep your eyes and ears peeled, you are sure to come across one sooner or later. All right, and then back we go. Gravel. No, no, no. Teleport. Ah, Ruby C. Ricardo. Still out by the storehouse. Yeah, yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh, it's Hansaku. I think it's the guy that originally sent us in this quest. Hello. Thanks to you meeting with the chief, not only did I receive a generous sum of Koban, but I think I may have even moved up a few pigs in the Confederacy. <sighs> okay. Just it just gets promoted for just sending th sending them my way. You took initiative there, lad. Or, or, if it's him. You took initiative there, lad. Way to go. You get a promotion. Alright, Suzume. Welcome back, Kelvin. I trust negotiations went smoothly. Kelvin, I'm glad to see you were returned. How did the meeting go with Mr. Skakimo? Or, how did the meeting with Mr. Skakimo go? Surprisingly well. She didn't even ask to amend the negotiations. She even uh, said that she would be willing to trade for additional goods on the top of it. Here's the return proposal. According to this contract, she has agreed to all of our terms regarding the loot and has even offered us an opportunity to earn extra coin. This, my friend, is what I call a job well done. Now let us see. On the, si on the side, she would have us procure the shell of a decade-old turtle, teardrop pearls, and soaring shark fins. 
Um, those, these are expensive commodities that cannot be obtained in Kugane, or anywhere outside of the Ruby Sea, for that matter. Ah, ah, ah. Mistress Kakimo certainly knows how to play her cards. Yeah, she's, she's only looking for the best of goods. Chief! Uh, uh, Chief, I'll go and get them for you. You're volunteering, dude, on your own? A generous offer, Hansaku. But sending you to search for everything alone will take far too much time. Let's divide the work. You can retrieve the soaring shark fins, I will find the turtle shell, and Suzume, you can secure the teardrop pearls. Understood. I shall make for Shoal Rock right, right away. I am eager, lad. Oh, there he goes again. He ran off without even bothering to con confirm how many fins we would have have him bring back. I'm going to bring back. I'm going to bring back as many shark fins as possible. <laughs> the man is completely incompetent. Ah, uh, what he makes up for uh, in lack of patience, he makes up for in eagerness. Uh, there's no need to be so hard on him, Suzume. Well, perhaps to touch. Uh, well, perhaps a touch over Zealus. He is simply looking to prove his worth to us. It is only natural, seeing as he narrowly escaped death at the hands of his former shipmates. <gasps> Mutiny? Each and every one of us here comes from a similarly difficult past. I do not see why we should treat him any different. An interesting notion has just struck me. Mayhap the reason our dear Hansaku is so enthusiastic about procuring items is because he is attempting to avoid something. Or rather, someone. Oh, interesting. Being Oh, su su suspicious. Something suspicious you think going on. You mean to imply the fake merchants were members of his former crew? Gasp. Indeed. He has been rather skittish of late, and it would explain why he did not escort Kelvin to us when they first met. Oh. Oh. It's all coming together. Coming face to face with your former crew under the best of circumstances can be trying. When you hold a blade to their throat and force them to pay the tithe. Well, then you become a marked man for life. So, so Hansaku was once shipmates with those... those lowlifes. You guys are pirates? I don't know how much... I mean, I guess you do have a code of honor, but like, I don't know how... Like, can you call other people lowlifes? And that, I don't know, just entirely bit hypocritical. No, they're low lives. We have a coat of honor. They're lime rap bastards. Suzume, what's wrong? You are starting to turn pale. What's it, why? What's happening? You realize something? No, nothing. Nothing is wrong, sir. I, I'm simply disgusted that one of our very own, however insignificant to our organization they might be, has had dealings with such vulgar men. I, I must be going now if I if I'm to gather our teardrop pearls. What is happening here? was that suspicious behavior? Hmm, I wonder what has gotten into Suzume. Whatever Hansaku's, whatever Hansaku's past, he is a confederate now. Besides, we tied stones around uh, his ex-crewmates' necks and threw them into the sea. What? what the brutal dude! Death by drowning? <sighs> Does she think that maybe he's going to be going to go free? That's why he was looking to go, have an excuse to go out somewhere really quick, because he wants to free his former crewmates. He doesn't want to see them drown, and she went out there to, to try to cover for him. Also, do death by drowning. Like, don't do that, dude. Just give them a clean death. That is a mystery best solved later. Oh, wait. I suppose that is a mystery best solved later. Kelwin, please do me a favor and go check on Hansaku for me, will you? The boy is not entirely the sharpest knife in the drawer and has a tendency to land himself in trouble. Okay, will do, will do. 
Oh yeah, he's out by the, uh, the, the shoal area. Okay, we're out. Swim down again. Torpedo Makote, go. Alright, the boom shakalaka. like all the way out here hello dude are you still alive out here saving your former shipmates oh there there he is being tagged dude are you already down oh no he's he's in danger don't worry i'm here <laughs> sorry shark jesus it's huge like a rock formation on his head. I'll probably just take it out. There we go, boom shakalaka. It's cool looking shark, cool looking shark. Alright, Hansaku. Aiding, aiding, you okay lad? Thank the karma you came when you did. I, I, I was about to be fish food. Dude, why did you accept the task if you didn't think you were up to it? So the chief saves me from certain death yet again. Ah, somehow I always manage to bungle up every job I'm given. What a complete and utter fool I am. Nah, man, it's okay. That shark was powerful. Like, I don't know, if you if you're not confident enough, you know, like, take backup, dude. Even even you know, like, even if you are confident, you know. Buddy system. I suppose all that matters in the end is that we obtain the fins. I shall return to the headquarters and inform the others. I'll meet you back there. I guess there might have been an area over here we didn't have to decide to swim across. Eh. I teleport back. <laughs> that was a long run out this way. I teleport back. You know the shark that shark is a mount by the way? Oh, cool beans, cool beans. We are fishing. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Flying, just flying shark. That's cool. That's cool. That was was a pretty badass looking shark. All right, Hansaku. Glad you made it out all right. I was the only one who came back empty-handed. And uh, what are you talking about? I killed the shark. You couldn't just get some fins off of that. And it certainly has not left a good impression on the chief. How much less Suzume. Hurry and deliver the fins to them, please. I cannot stand their disappointed stares for a moment longer. I could have given you the fins to take back, dude. I do not see why the chief gets, keeps them around. Ansako is completely useless. Even you must realize it, too. Dude, he just joined the Confederacy. We all start somewhere. You don't have to be so... Venomous. 
I'm glad you made it back. Hansaku told us everything. Thank you, Kellen. It seems my fears were warranted. Soaring shark fins. Only after days of drying in the sun do the full flavors of this delicacy develop. These fins, they're all in near perfect condition. They will no doubt surpass even Mistress Kikimo's high expectations. Now that we have everything, let us deliver the goods to our client without any further ado. I shall prepare one of our ships and begin stalking it then. Very good, Suzume. And there she goes. Although she tries hard to hide it, Suzume is far less cheerful than usual. She all right, I wonder. I know, something's up, dude. She's probably just exhausted from her search for pearls. <laughs> Writing it off real quickly. Nah, something's, something's up. Chief, if members of the Confederacy are barred from entering the port city, how exactly were we supposed to meet with our client? Yeah, I was wondering about that, too. Did you just, did you just laugh at it for a second? Ah, ha, ha. We have our ways. <laughs> we have our ways. All right, I think... Eh. You know what we'll take. Mm. I know what options are always nice. I'll probably be in way, way mage. We'll take these, why not? The girl with the pearl ring. Okay, Sukikage is e eager to deliver his goods to Kikimo. Well, it is true that we are banned from setting foot in Kugane. There is no such law prohibiting Mistress Kikimo from coming to us. Oh, okay. Therefore, we shall be meeting with her at Sakazuki. Hansaku, I would like for you to accompany Suzume and assist her in transporting our goods there. We're then to unload them and bring them to our rendezvous point. Understood? You got it, Chief. Kelwin, this shall be my first time meeting Mistress Kikimo, and I would like to have you accompany me. I shall be counting on you to introduce us. Of course. Let her know that that uh, this is indeed the, the the folks that she's been exchanging the letters with. the way back here. No! <laughs> uh, hmm. You know what? I think it actually might be swifter if I teleport to Gugane and then just go to the joining area. That'll be closer. I'm gonna do that. And then it would be like swim all the way out there. Alright, then to the Ruby Sea. We're back to the Ruby Sea. All right. And then, yeah, now we have to only make this this one across. Uh, when we were initially doing the questing here, like there was like quests that was up here, and then there was some quests that was up this way, and we made this swim back and forth a lot. These people are here. They're just like, there she goes again, just swimming. She does know that boats is this, right? Just leave her to it, crazy lass. Ah, I think that may be them. That may be them over there. Hello, dudes. That's Kikimo as well. <laughs> Hello, we're, I'm here. Suzume? Excuse me, Kelvin, but I'm not feeling well. Ugh. I do not think I can talk right now. Why, why aren't you feeling well, lass? Something... Is some, something's wrong. What's wrong? And Zaku. My respect for Suzume grows by the day. Never have I seen anyone load and unload cargo so swiftly. Tsukikage? This must be Mistress Kikimo. 
Well, will you be introducing us, or must I do it myself? No, no, so I'm sorry, dude, I got this. This guy do looks like a freaking baby ass. I like that hairstyle. Dude, Aura is so cool. All right, Kakimo. Mistress Kelvin, how delightful it is to see you again. I presume this man here is none other than our new business associate, Master Sukikage? Yes, he is. Sukikage, Kakimo. Kakimo, Sukikage of the Confederacy. Or I guess, Kakimo of the Elder Art. Kakimo of the East Elder Art Com Trading Company. Sukikage of the Confederacy. And vice versa. Mistress Kakimo, it is a pleasure to finally meet you. Before we turn everything over to you, please first allow me to present to you with these. The items requested. The, the fins, the pearls, and the whatever the heck the third item was. A decade old turtle shell, this is it. A decade old turtle shell, teardrop pearls, and soaring shark fins. I did not think you would be able to procure these on such short notice. Added to that, each and every one of these items is in pristine condition. For your exceptional service, I am inclined to give you a bonus. Ooh. Really looking to, to strike a, uh... Start off on the right, right foot here. Thank you. As for the rest of the goods, we can turn those over to you at your earliest convenience. There's quite a lot, so I imagine you will need a merchant vessel to transport them back. I assume how we're sailing such a large ship into the area might attract the attention of the backful? Yes, and were they to catch us dealing with members of the Confederacy, the consequences could be dire. Then let's complete this transaction on the northern side of our island. Once you return with a larger ship, we can load everything up there, out of the reach of the prying eyes of the Hingen soldiers at the Ruby Price, which is that little, like, uh, spit of buildings behind us. That's where the, the Hingen sort of, like, uh have like cannons and sort of a guard there for anybody approaching like their their part of the waters an excellent idea i shall return to kugane and have a mercantile ship prepared for departure master sukikage i'll be leaving uh, leaving you here till we meet again at sakazuki's northern tip Thanks for coming all this out here all this way, lass. Brave lass being like, eh, trading with pirates? We can do this. It, well, there's money in it. There's one matter that we must attend to before Mistress Kikimo returns with her ship. While hidden from prying eyes, the northern reaches are infested with beasts. They must be slain. We gotta clear the way. <laughs> we have to make a good impression. Has to be safe. <sighs> oh, dude, not you again, Hansaku. Dude, you couldn't take out the shark, dude. I don't think you can do it alone. Take back up. <sighs> Leave it to me, Chief. I'll make sure the area is cleared of any dangers. Very good. You're, you're gonna trust him? Okay. Send him with backup. Suzume, would you please accompany S S S uh, Hansaku? Oh, thank God. Yeah, do that. Suzume, are you listening to me? Please go with Hansaku and secure the northern area of the island. Some something's wrong with her, dude. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Before that, please allow me to take a short rest at the guard room. The injuries I sustained while diving for pearls have taken quite a toll on me. <gasps> are you poisoned? Are you okay? I'm uh, not a healer currently, but I have a healing spell. And I can become a healer. I have healing magics. Suna. I had not realized you were injured. Yes, take a rest then. I've already sent word ahead to the guard room requesting those there to lend us th their assistance. Upon your arrival, tell them that they are to meet us at the trading spot. Yes, sir. I'll be sure to do that. Mm -hmm. 
There's no need for that, Chief. I can take care of everything on my own. No, you can't, dude. <laughs> no, you can't. Learn to ask for help when you need it. I cannot put my finger on it, but something about Suzume is off. The dark, angry look she has when she thinks no one is looking reminds me of the expression she wore when she first joined the Confederacy. Like, we've learned here that, like, some certain poisons can mess with people here. You think it's that, or you think, you know, she's, now that she's learned, maybe she has a grudge against whatever the, the crew is, and now she's got a grudge against the other dude? The, he, the, against, um, Hansaku or whatever. she got a grudge against his former crewmates, and now she has a grudge against him, but, but you renounce all of your ties when you join the Confederacy, so... It was right after she lost her parents to a raid upon her small vi small fishing village. She was one of the few that survived. I remember she so clearly how broken she was. Yeah, she said tough time. She said tough time. <sighs> well, whatever it is, it will have to wait until our delivery is complete. Now let us go to the pier. We must see the go goods are safely transported. You think it, it can wait, but I don't know if it can do. I think something's wrong. I don't know what, but something certainly is. We are missing some of our goods. Thank you for informing me. I shall take things from here. You're missing goods? Yeah, when impeccable timing as always. My men just finished their final round of checks when they discovered that our most valuable item, the crimson shell ring, has gone missing. Also, like, you know it's well enough to be like, as always, impeccable timing. I guess maybe. Must track down the thief immediately. Please go and get Suzume. She should be at the guard's room and will come out if you call out to her. With chat mode and say, use your keyboard and software keyboard to enter the phrase and contains the name Suzume to call out the pirate from the designated location. Okay, anything else to say, Sukukage? Cannot afford for this deal to go sour. We must retrieve the crimson shell ring at all costs. Oh, the guard, the guard room up here, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, over here. Loudmouth pirate. Were you here before? Bloody hell, sir. Try to get us all killed. Keep shouting. There'll be a force to take into custody. Okay, I'm not... I haven't been shouting at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, destination. Uh, okay. Alright. Say... Suzume. Suzume. You're looking for Suzume, I take it. Well, you'll have no luck finding her here. She has long since gone to help clear the meeting area of beasts. Okay. Originally, I was to go with Hensaku, but she insisted on taking my place. When Suzume left wearing a pearl ring, it became immediately obvious what was going on. She and Hensaku are having an affair. <laughs> I simply cannot wait for them to return. I won't let, let them hear the end of it. Why? Like, a ring? Like... 
why why would that mean the why would having a ring mean that they were having an affair it was a promise ring or something a proposal ring this will repair while we're well we're right next to this person all right mm. Oh, we gotta go back to Suke Kage. We don't know if it's the ring. Like, I don't know. Maybe she wears a ring usually. All right, parkour. And by parkour, I mean straight drop. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, that's right. Fuck off. <laughs> All right, Tsukikage? She has left to have a tryst with Hansaku. No, I don't think so. Or at least that is the conclusion one of our comrades came to because she was wearing a crimson shell ring when she left. Nothing about this story sits right with me. Dude, this situation hasn't been sitting right with me for a while. Suzume often openly scorns Hanzaku. Added to that, I cannot bring myself to believe she would steal from us. Even if she did, she is not foolish enough to flaunt her loot. Someone must have made a mistake while reviewing the inventory list. Yes, that's it. I shall survey everything once more, and that will clear up this whole misunderstanding. Now, dude, something's not right. I don't doubt that's the dude's what he saw. I, I enjoy your trust in your companions, and but I think something else is afoot here. Hold on, it says here that the allegedly stolen item is a Kaisuri ring. Ah, the pieces of the puzzle have finally fallen into place. Uh, Kaisuri, does it is it poisoning her? Like like what is a Kaisuri ring? Kaisuri is Suzume's last name. Oh. Okay, never mind. Her parents made shell jewelry for a living. All of their work bears their signature, including the crimson shell ring. One of the thugs we apprehended earlier was wearing this. That means there's a chance he had a hand in the raid that took her parents' lives and might even be personally responsible for their deaths. I suppose ill. Hansaku. He was once a part of their crew, which means... Oh, damn it, Suzume. I could have seen this coming a mile away, dude. Do not tell me you would be foolish enough to attempt to get revenge. That's what I'm thinking, man. That's what I'm thinking. Like, she seemed mighty pissed at the dude. For no reason. When she heard that he was once their crew. Clearly, there was a falling out. There was a reason why he's not with that crew anymore. Alright. Suki Kage appears deeply troubled. What a terrible mess. If, as I suspect, Suzume has gone to exact revenge on Hansaku, she is likely making her way to him as we speak. The Confederacy is made up of a diverse group of people, and all of us take a vow upon joining to leave our past behind us. She were to harm a fellow member, regardless of the circumstances, she will be branded an enemy. And understandably so, because she's letting her past get in the way of this shit. And if the other dude's resigned his past, then he's resigned his past, dude. And as long as he's not hurting her, like... Like, what can you do? He's turned over a, a new leaf, or maybe he disagreed with his fellows in the first place. Like, you don't know why he's not with that crew anymore. She knows this, yet it seems fury has taken hold of her heart and clouded her judgment. We must act quickly and put an end to this nonsense. But not that sh they needed a captain to transport our goods. I would go and stop her myself. As it stands, however, I must ask that you intervene on my behalf. I guess you want to make sure to see this through. Don't worry, leave it to me. Please, hurry to them and see that no harm comes to either Suzume or Hansaku. Will do. And we hope it's not too late. I do not want to lose two of my subordinates, especially not during such a critical time. Okay, they're just- they're just around here, okay. Do 
Yo, bitch. Hope. Hansak, are you okay? S Suzume, uh, I, d I didn't know. Truly, I'm sorry for what they did to you and your village. I... Stop. Stop, don't go any further. Think this through. Kelwin, stay right where you are. If you attempt to stop me, I will put an arrow through you as easily as I will his vital man. Carbuncle, get her! <laughs> to hurt another member is to commit treason against the Confederacy. The past is in the path. You are both part of the Confederacy now. No, she's too caught up in the anger. You can't just say the past is the past and just expect her to let her go. We have to try to appeal to her reason in the now. Her and other members can commit treason against the Federacy. Treason or not, I must avenge my parents' deaths. Because of them, never again will I hear my father's gruff voice or feel a gentle touch on my mother's hand. Unless I kill off these res those responsible, they will never find peace. Nor will I. Is he responsible, though? Oh, Sukukaki, you did take a moment here to... You did take a moment here to come out. You fool! The men and women here... We are your family now. To lay a hand on your brothers and sisters is to relinquish your life. Are you ready to pay that price? I would not be here if I was not. Very well, then I will not stop you. <laughs> okay, very well. However, you are you are to settle your accounts with Hansaku only after your tra our transaction with Mr. Kikimo is complete. Okay, dude. All right, very well. We'll kill you after you kill him, but uh, let's finish this shit up real quick. The Confederacy's entire future depends on the success of this trade. I will not have you ruining it for us. Very well, sir. For, for the kindness you and the other pirates have shown me, I shall comply with your request. <laughs> Back to the good, the good vibes music. Good. <laughs> The two of you are to go and secure the perimeter now. Just to sell this. She just tried to kill me, sir. I mean, yes, sir. Remember, Suzume, I will not have you going back on your word. You are not to touch Hanzaku until everything is done. And then, whatever, you can kill him. And Sansak is just like, you're just gonna let her kill- You're just gonna let her kill me, Captain? What? I know. Uh, it seems you made it here just in time to prevent what could have been- uh, Well, have been a catastrophe. Thank you, Kelwin. Thanks for coming, even though you said you couldn't. Now I must return to the boats and check up on the cargo. Might you remain here and help clear the area? And while you're at it, please keep an eye on Suzumi to make sure she does not step out of line. Okay, but like, you know, I feel like Hansaku and her should just really talk. Like, I don't know if he was even present at that thing. And if he was, like, I don't think he agrees. I feel like they need to just talk. Talk it out a little bit. Alrighty, alrighty. Here we go. Destination. We're taking out some other truckers. You spy no dangerous creatures in the area. You best now go and check upon Suzume. They did an admiral job then of clearing this area. 
Holy shit, that's a lot of little sea serpentine monsters. Hey dudes, uh, how goes it, Hansaku? You got one of them, that's good. They, they, they went for Shizumi, so I put myself between her and them. Uh, my injuries aren't that serious, but it will take me a while to regain my strength. Don't worry, I got this dude. As soon as I was attacked, Hansaku came running to my rescue. We're both too injured to move, but the monsters are no doubt still lurking about nearby. Oh yeah, they definitely are. I can see- I have eyes! Uh, oh no, when did these guys get here? Gas, Pikachu surprise face. Dudes, we got him. You guys okay? You, you saved my life yet again. I, I'm, I'm fine. Really, please go and check on Suzume. Now you guys are both not fine. It's alright, I got healing magic, so I'll help y'all out. Eating. Thank you, Kelvin, for saving us. No problem. You guys really gotta take on less, you know, like, only take on what you can chew or else you'll, like, die out here. Like, is this just the average day for the Confederacy? Like, you just lose a couple of people because they went too gung-ho and tried to take out too many monsters, dude? I was so blinded by rage that I did not notice when the beast crept up behind me. Hanzako had not come when he did die. I would be dead. I suppose in saving me, you sought to earn pardon for your crimes? It was not to gain your forgiveness that I threw myself at them. I, I was acting purely on instinct. And that's my dude. He's a good lad, dude. He's a good lad. Oomph. I can believe that. You never were one to think before you act. <laughs> Mina! Stop smiling. That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. <laughs> Not thinking for you. Grah, you are a fool to the very end. Who goes out of their way to save the one person trying to kill them? <sighs> Perhaps, however, even the bigger fool of the two of us is me. Were you, constant, were you to constantly look to the future, well, you, were, where you constantly look to the future, I desperately cling to my past. My parents, they would not have wanted this. Yeah, they wouldn't want you to waste your life, dude, just to get revenge for them, right? That's right, come over. I know you're a pirate, but come over here. Come on, we'll hug it out. We'll hug it out. It's alright, sometimes you, sometimes you just need a hug. It'll help. I know you can't help, uh, it won't fix it, but it'll, it'll help. Let it happen. <laughs> At long last, the veil of anger has lifted and you see reasons, Zume. Is there anything else you want to say to Hansaku? Maybe I apologize for ki trying to kill you, hmm? Hmm? Suzume? Oh. Very, he looks very contrite. Hansaku. I... I'm sorry. I was a prisoner of my own painful past, but through your actions, you have set me free. I, I have done you harm. Should you wish to me to leave the Confederacy, I shall do so. This man won't ask it of her. He understands. Leave? I would never ask that of you. Suzume, this is your home, and we, your family, you belong here with us. Such a good lad, dude.
Yeah, you can better see brutal AF. Once again, they drowned people. Like, they just hung weights over them for not paying the ruby tithe and just set them in the sea. Brutal. Unforgiving of any not their own. But to their own, they're good eggs. Ah, thank you, sir. Though, though I guess there has been some times where they've looked out for others. Like, that guy was just like, that lady on the beach, she's in trouble, you know? But he seemed pretty green, so I don't know, maybe it's just like the pirate lifing for him yet. Uh, thank you, sir. I, I, I know I disappointed you. Or, th th thank you, sir. I know I disappointed you, but please give me a second chance. Let me stay here with you and the Confederacy. It was never my plan to expel you. All families have their problems, and we are no different. Aww. What is more, most important is that we learn from our mistakes and do not repeat them. You know, what's a little bit of siblings trying to occasionally murder each other, am I right? <laughs> yes, sir. Um, pardon me, Chief, but isn't Mistress Kakimo set to arrive soon? This music suddenly. Uh, won't our deal fall through if we don't go to meet her? Ah, I haven't heard this music before. This is nice. Time a ticking. Ah, <laughs> some things are more important than money. Business deals can be replaced, but I'm afraid the two of you cannot. Aw, oh, dude. Before I was just like, okay, you really want the meeting to go through. Like, I understand that since I'm also here to go as well. But I've been like, you know, you can be late for a hot second while you help these dudes. I was thinking that, but I, like, understand why he didn't do it. But it's alright, we can still make it there. I hope that does not mean you intend to renege, 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 our deal. Sorry, Kikimo, bit of internal trucker stuff. All the goods I'd come to collect were at the location we had agreed to meet at, but you were not. Your companions guarding the items said that they were given a strict order to not hand anything over until you gave the word. Now I find you here all covered in, um, blood and slime. What is going on? Um, just uh, slaying, uh, slaying a couple of creatures uh, that were out here and, uh, you know, saving the subordinates, you know, looking out for our, our group. Sorry for the inconvenience of having having you wait, um, Miss Kimo. My sincerest apologies, Mr. Kimo. We were forced to divert our attentions temporarily to deal with a, uh, security breach of sorts. It has been resolved. By the looks of, looks of it, you have gone to great lengths to ensure my safety upon arriving on the island. Time and time again, you impress me with your resolve to provide the best of services to your customers. I must say, the future between your organization and ours is bright. <laughs> yeah, they're, you know, like, they're, they're br brutal, but, you know, like, eh, at least they're trying to put the best foot f forward here. That said, please let us return and begin loading the goods. I would prefer to make it back to Gugane before sunrise. Yeah, yes, madam. Uh, we will get, get on it straight away. Come, Hansaku. Uh, well then, I'm away. There she goes. Kelwin, your help has been indispensable. Not only have you saved my two subordinates, but the Confederacy as well. I must go and oversee the remainder of this transaction, but I ask that you come find me later in Oko Onokoro. Will do, dude, dude, it's been a pleasure. Alright, we could swim all the way across, but instead we're just gonna teleport. Mm. 
Okay, he's up by the storehouse again. Okay. Hello. Thank you for coming all this way. You'll be pleased to hear that everything went smoothly after you left. That's good, that's good. Suzumi and Sanzaku were quick to load the ship. It was almost as though nothing ever happened between them. <laughs> you know, it's a little trying to murder between friends, right? <laughs> you, of course, are who we have to thank for that. We are greatly indebted to you for all you have done for us. Well, you may not be an official member of the Confederacy. Uh, we have come to think of you as family. Oh, really? C get over here. Get over here for a hug. I'm glad you won't be brutal towards me. <laughs> I hope you will come back to visit us whenever you can. And remember, should ever wish to officially join our ranks, we would be more than happy to welcome you. Nah, man, I'm sorry. I can't relinquish my own past, and I've got lots of duties beyond these waters, but thanks, dude. Also, screenshot. Special family member of the Confederacy. We're not... We're not joining any free companies yet. Alright, complete. All righty, all righty. That's it for the side quest out here in the Confederacy area. That was an enjoyable little uh, quest chain. I liked it, I liked it. Um, but yeah, now we're going out to the continue with the uh, the main story quest line.